Basically, song is used as an advertisement display, kind of like, you know, bright plumage feathers and, and things like Birds of Paradise, the little dance display. So, so females assess males based on their song. What happens is white-throated sparrow song is just a, a like a series of whistled notes and it's kind of broken into two parts. It has three notes that are what are called the intro part and those can kind of go da 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 uh, so they can kind of drop down in frequency or you can have other males that will do it kind of go da 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 and they'll increase in frequency. Whatever they sort of started with the, at the end that last series of notes are a kind of repeating pattern. So it, the, the classic song kind of goes, oh my sweet Canada, Canada, Canada. And that sort of repeated triplet of notes is what all the males in the population would typically sing. And what we found was that when I first moved up to British Columbia in the late 90s, um, they were singing a song that went, oh my sweet canna, 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 Canada, like that. So it's kind of repeating a, a double note instead of a triple note. And it, it's kind of like they're stuttering. So if you get two males that have the same intro, you can really hear this difference in the, the repeating pattern at the end. But this song started to appear in other populations uh, to the east of us in the midst of sort of this broader sort of traditional three note ending song. You know, it would start off very rare there, um, but over time uh, with sort of each generation, it was starting to get more and more common and more and more males were adopting it. And, and is now the only song uh, all the way to the middle of Ontario, which is about 5,000 5, kilometers away from us. And it's not like song is not known to change locally. What, what kind of surprised us was the scale that this was happening at and that it was going like, you know, over such a big geographic location probably 10, 12 years after we first initially discovered this, we started to gather songs from across the continent using any means we could. So we tapped into um, citizen scientists who were uploading songs to song databases. And we started to get in, you know, hundreds and hundreds of recordings from all across North America, not just the breeding area, but also on the wintering grounds. You know, from the theories that have been put out about why these kind of transitions occur, the one that, that seems to fit our data the most, males, when the males sing something slightly novel, um, the females tend to pay more attention to it. You know, they might show a slight preference to that. And that could be something as easy as you, know, you sing the new song type, you get a mate one day earlier than you would if you sang the old song type, right? That's enough of an advantage to cause males to sort of dis you know, disproportionately try and learn the new song, even though it's really rare in the population. We think that that might be happening with the white-throated sparrows. It's not like we ever intended to study this. We were studying in a totally different framework for, for over a decade. You know, we were trying to basically make it fit into what was kind of established dialectal theory and stuff like that. And it just doesn't, like it just doesn't fit into what we expected. It may be happening in other species as well. It's just that it's been very hard to sort of study song on a, this kind of geographic scale until very recently with the sort of uptake of all of these people contributing to song databases. It's like having thousands of research assistants scattered across the continent. And it may challenge some of our older ideas of what we thought was happening when we were just studying stuff on just a localized scale, right? So, you know, it kind of opens up a little bit of, of ideology in, in birdsong and, and sort of gives some ideas for new kinds of studies.